Hi, welcome back to this week's episode of Dairy TV. But before we go very far, don't forget to subscribe. This week we'll be discussing about roofing and your structure and how high your roof should be and how you should roof your, your dairy farm. For every animal, they need to be protected from the elements, from rain, sunshine and the like. So every dairy should have a complete roof, such as this one you can see behind me. The height of the roof should be from about 3 meters at the lowest point or at the eaves and uh, at the center it will be about 4 meters. Another reason why we have uh, high roofs is to encourage airflow. When the roof is high, cool air will come in from the sides and lift up uh, and the hot air will be able to rise from the center, taking away all the harmful gases that we don't want in our farm. It will take away all the particles that are harmful, methane gas, nitrogen and the likes, and keep our animals um, very healthy and also cooled. Most farms I've visited have realized that the roofing system is not done to the right degree or the right standard. They have a very short uh, wall that does not cover the whole barn. But in this farm, the, but in this farm, the roof is complete and it covers all the animals, protects them from the elements such as the sun and the rain and so forth. Cows are very delicate animals and they also react to changes in temperature. They can survive from negative five degrees, yes, but when temperatures go beyond 15 degrees, they start to recognize that the temperature is going up. Their body processes uh, indicate that they need to cool themselves. So a complete roof is very important so that we can keep the temperatures down. And the energy she would be using to cool herself will now be used to produce milk. Uh, basically, that's how a bun should look like. Now we'll take a break and see how the mature, cows, uh, mature cow bun should look like. See you then. Welcome back from the break. As you can see, I am standing in the lactating cow barn and uh, the walls are quite... Uh, actually, there are no walls. There are rails on the side, which we call post and rail walling, so that we can see the difference between the young stock and the mature cows. The reason we have it this way is because we encourage airflow. Uh, cool air will be coming from the sides and coming in, taking away the the heat, cooling our cows, taking out uh, any gases that are harmful like nitrogen and methane and so on and so forth. That is the main reason why we have our barn as open as possible. Because cows as milk producing animals, they will produce a lot of heat during this process. So they need to stay cool and uh, having walls in your cow barn will not be able to provide this um, element of cow comfort. Therefore, if they are not comfortable, this will compromise their production and uh, also bring down your profits. The lactating cow barn has uh, different dimensions. The roofing is quite high, as you can see, and uh, the minimum or ideal measurement for the cow barn. In conclusion, we have seen that the mature cow barn is similar to the young stock barn where the shortest side of the barn should be about 3 meters and uh, this brings the center of the barn where I'm standing to about 4.5 meters or 4 meters. But in this case, you see the uh, cow barn is quite high. The center is about 6 meters, which means the edges are about 4.5 meters. Uh, this is a very large scale setup, but for your small farm, three meters on the shorter side is quite okay. Thank you for watching Dairy TV. Don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next episode.